Of course, I had the pleasure to attend the uh, new daily meeting, uh, the International Myeloma Workshop. And of course, there was a wealth of uh, uh, new information. Um, but what was important is, um, is of course, among several other presentations, it is the uh, reporting of two large phase three trials. One was done uh, comparing um, in uh, denuzumab with soledronat in seventeen hundred more than seventeen hundred patients. So the question was whether denuzumab, which is an anti rank ligand antibody and is already approved for treatment in osteoporosis and in breast cancer, uh, would uh, 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 be um, non inferior to the present standard, which is soledronat. Soledronat reduces the risk for skeletal related events, that is uh, pain, um, that bone pain, that is fractures, uh, that is indication for radiotherapy, indication for surgery and so on. So, uh, and soledronat is the standard and this was tested against um, uh, denuzumab. And denuzumab, which is easier to administer because you administer it subcutaneously, it's just one shot, you don't have res uh, respect uh, uh, kidney function, which you do have. You have to test uh, renal function before administer administering uh, soledronat. So it's much easier, and soledronat has to be infused by, uh, it's an IV infusion. So this is the advantage um, in, in terms of administration and patient comfort. But the main question is, or was, is it um, equivalent? And uh, the answer is yes, it was equivalent to soledronat in terms of prevention of skeletal related events. But was, uh, as a surprise on top of that, was that it reduced uh, the risk for progression of myeloma by 18%. So you get uh, uh, the same results re regarding bone uh, health, uh, as with uh, soledronat, but there seems to be an anti-myeloma effect in addition. And uh, of course the benefit is the ease of administration and the increased uh, patient comfort. This was one of uh, the highlights. Another highlight um, was the uh, Clarion study. Cafiltomib has been shown to be very efficacious and has been shown to be uh, superior in uh, when it was compared uh, uh, Cafizomib dex compared to Bortezomib dex, uh, which uh, was significantly superior in terms of progression free survival, overall response rate, and even o uh, and overall survival. And it was also found to be superior when combined with uh, Ref dex as compared to Ref dex and on. So, Cafizomib um, has raised many expectations, and, uh, and the company asked the question whether. Cafilzomib in combination with melphalan dexprednisone uh, uh, would be uh, equivalent or even better than uh, the present standard, which is bortezomib melphalan prednisone. So VMP is one of the standard treatments in elderly patients, and the question was whether KMP is superior or not. So there were very um, um, raised hopes that uh, uh, this may be the outcome of the study. Unfortunately, the study did not show an improvement in um, outcome parameters with the KMB as compared to the VMB uh, regimen. Um, uh, there were even more uh, side effects, um, a little bit more renal and a little bit more uh, cardiac toxicity with KMB. So the lesson from this study is that uh, probably melphalan is not a good uh, combination partner for cafilzomib, and there are many other uh, options for cafilzomib being used with other partners, but probably not with melphalan. But that is also an important uh, information for the community and uh, for um, designing new trials, employing cafilzomib as one of the main uh, uh, role players uh, uh, in the treatment armamentarium. And I think that we need to find out, uh, I think that is, uh, that is what you have to expect. If you move forward, you cannot always expect uh, that your next step will be a successful one. But with every ste step you set, um, I think you learn something new and this is important. And then you have to redirect uh, yourself probably and look for other uh, um, um, 
task and, and uh, study designs. And that is uh, also natural, and I think we should accept that. And some people take this as a, let's say, major problem. It's not a problem, it's a part of our learning curve.